Drinking bottled water is often considered safer and cleaner, but now a new alarming study says water bottles are filled with hundreds of thousands of microplastics. These microscopic particles are small enough to enter the human bloodstream. I have a confession. I used to buy bottled water religiously, fridge stocked, gym bag loaded, car console full. I genuinely believed I was making the healthier choice. Felt good about it, even. That crisp plastic crack, the marketed promises of mountain springs and glacial purity. I bought all of it, literally. Then I started investigating what's actually in these bottles. And here's what nobody wants to admit. Most bottled water isn't just overpriced. It's contaminated. We're talking E. coli, arsenic, forever chemicals, microplastics that literally never break down. You know what's in your bottle right now? Probably pieces of the bottle itself. After weeks of analyzing recalls, lab reports, and contamination data, I've ranked the 30 worst offenders and the 10 actually worth drinking. Some of these are going to shock you. Some you've probably got in your fridge right now. And number one, it's not what you think. Let's start with the brands that should terrify you. Sounds innocent enough, right? Named after one of America's most iconic natural wonders. Except here's the thing. This brand has faced multiple E. coli recalls across several states. E. coli, the bacteria that comes from fecal contamination. You're paying money to drink something that failed the most basic purity test that tap water passes every single day. They've recalled millions of bottles, and yet they're still on shelves, still marketed as pure refreshment. Trust me, there's nothing refreshing about intestinal bacteria. Sounds crisp and natural, doesn't it? Evokes images of pristine wilderness. The reality? Microplastics detected in testing and they're actively overextracting from local aquifers, literally draining communities of their natural water resources so you can pay a dollar for something that comes out of your tap. They're not protecting mountains. They're destroying them. And those microplastics? You're drinking them. Every sip deposits tiny plastic particles into your system that will never, ever leave your body. The name itself is marketing genius. Who doesn't want pure life? Here's what you're actually getting. PFAS contamination in repackaged tap water. Let me put this in perspective. PFAS are called forever chemicals because they don't break down, ever. They accumulate in your blood, your organs, your tissues. They're linked to cancer, thyroid disease, immune suppression. And Nestle, because yes, this is a Nestle product, is putting them in bottles labeled Pure Life. That's not purity. That's poison with a logo. Aquafina, PepsiCo's billion dollar baby. You know what the label doesn't tell you? It's just purified municipal water, tap water. They're literally bottling city water, running it through a filter, and charging you 2,000% markup. And even after that filtration, lab testing found plastic particles. You're paying premium prices to drink tap water contaminated by the very container it's sold in. PepsiCo made over $1 billion from this brand last year. They've calculated that you won't read the fine print. The Sani. Coca-Cola's answer to Aquafina, which means it's the same scam with different branding. Tap water with added minerals for taste. Sounds harmless until you learn about the 2004 UK recall for bromate contamination, a cancer-causing chemical that formed during their purification process. They literally made tap water more dangerous, then sold it as premium hydration. And the microplastics? Still there. You're not buying water. You're buying Coca-Cola's ability to convince you that their tap water is better than yours. Another Nestle subsidiary, another contamination story. Arsenic traces detected, microplastics confirmed. Arsenic is a known carcinogen. Even low-level exposure over time increases your risk of bladder cancer, skin cancer, lung cancer. But here's what really gets me. Deer Park markets itself as natural spring water, as if the word natural means safe. Arsenic is natural, so is cyanide. Natural doesn't mean clean, and it certainly doesn't mean you should be drinking it daily. Not just contaminated, criminally contaminated. This company was literally convicted for illegally storing and mishandling arsenic-contaminated wastewater. Convicted. In court. They knew their water had arsenic problems, and instead of fixing it, they hid it. Pleaded guilty to federal crimes. And they're still selling water. Still on shelves, still marketing freshness and purity, while their legal record tells a very different story the ultra-purified water that somehow isn't pure at all. They built an entire brand around medical-grade purity, charged premium prices for their fancy purification process, and then testing revealed PFAS presence, those forever chemicals again. 
the same toxins they claimed their process eliminated. It's almost impressive. They managed to be both overpriced and contaminated simultaneously. That's not ultra-pure. That's ultra-deceptive. Coca-Cola strikes again, this time with vapor-distilled marketing brilliance. Yes, they distill it. Yes, they add electrolytes. But then they put it in plastic bottles that leach chemicals and shed microplastics into the water. It's like sanitizing your kitchen and then serving dinner on a dirty plate. The distillation doesn't matter when the delivery system is actively contaminating the product. You're not drinking smart. You're drinking plastic. The alkaline water craze in a bottle. They've convinced people that pH-balanced water is worth $3 per bottle. Here's what they don't advertise. Microplastics detected and exactly zero peer-reviewed studies proving alkaline water provides any health benefit whatsoever. Your stomach acid neutralizes the pH immediately anyway. You're paying triple price for regular water with a science-sounding marketing claim and bonus plastic contamination. That's not enhanced hydration, that's enhanced profit margins. Fiji, the luxury water with the ironic reality. Shipped from an island nation halfway across the world burning massive amounts of fuel wrapped in plastic that's leaching into the product, also you can feel sophisticated while drinking water that contains the same microplastic contamination as cheaper brands. Their carbon footprint is staggering. Their plastic use is inexcusable and their purity claims don't hold up under independent testing. You're not buying better water, you're buying a tropical fantasy with a side of environmental destruction. Voss, Norwegian luxury in a designer bottle. Fancy cylindrical packaging that costs more than the water inside. And you know what else is inside? The same microplastic problem affecting every other plastic bottled brand. They've positioned themselves as premium through aesthetics, not purity. The bottle is beautiful. The water is contaminated. That's not luxury. That's packaging over substance. The iconic French brand, the water of celebrities and fashion shows. Also the water with confirmed plastic particle contamination. They've been bottling water since 1826, nearly two centuries of reputation, and it doesn't matter. The plastic still breaks down. The microplastics still migrate into the water. Historical prestige doesn't purify contamination. You're paying for a name, not for safety. The spring water that might not actually be spring water. Multiple lawsuits alleging false advertising because their spring sources are questionable at best. Independent investigations suggested some sources are just groundwater. They've settled lawsuits for millions rather than prove their sourcing claims. When a company prefers to pay settlements instead of providing transparency, that tells you everything. You're not drinking from springs, you're drinking from their legal department. Nestle's California brand, extracting water from drought-stricken regions under expired and disputed permits. Let me put this in perspective. California communities are facing mandatory water restrictions while Nestle bottles their water for profit. And those bottles? Microplastic contamination confirmed. You're supporting the extraction of public resources during droughts so you can drink plastic-contaminated water. That's not refreshment. That's exploitation. The Texas brand with a Texas-sized problem. Arsenic traces and microplastic presence despite marketing itself as pure spring water. Arsenic exposure is cumulative. It builds up. Every contaminated bottle adds to your lifetime exposure. And they know. These companies test their water. They know what's in there. They've calculated that the profit from selling contaminated water exceeds the cost of recalls and lawsuits. You're not a customer, you're a calculated risk. Florida's spring water with the same familiar story. Arsenic detected, microplastics confirmed, purity claims that don't match independent testing. They market Florida's natural springs while delivering contamination. Here's the thing that makes me furious. They target families, market to health-conscious parents, position themselves as the smart choice for kids. There is nothing smart about giving children water with arsenic traces and plastic particles. This one's special because it's not even trying to be water. It's Coca-Cola's vitamin-enhanced sugar delivery system wrapped in health marketing. Original formulas had 32 grams of sugar, more than a Snickers bar. Zero-sugar versions use artificial sweeteners. Both versions come in plastic bottles. 
Both versions are contaminated by microplastics. That's not enhanced water, that's enhanced deception in a bottle that's poisoning you. PepsiCo's flavored water alternative, marketed to athletes and fitness enthusiasts as enhanced hydration. What they're not marketing? The microplastic contamination that comes with every plastic bottle. You're working out to be healthier while drinking water that's depositing forever chemicals and plastic particles in your system. The flavor additives don't matter when the container is the contaminant. That's not fitness water, that's fitness theater. Perfectly balanced pH, nutrient enhanced, perfectly overpriced. $3 per bottle for water with microplastic contamination and marketing claims that sound scientific but aren't, backed by actual science. The pH balance doesn't survive your stomach acid, the nutrients are negligible. The plastic contamination is permanent. You're paying premium prices for tap water with a fancy label and toxic packaging. They've done the math. They know you'll pay more for words like perfect and balance. The only thing balanced here is their profit margin against your gullibility. Here's what the bottled water industry doesn't want you to know. Most of it, and I mean 70% or more, is just repackaged tap water. Municipal water that's already been treated, already safe, already accessible from your faucet. They're bottling it, branding it, and selling it back to you for 2,000% markup. And then the plastic bottle itself, the very container they're using, contaminates the water with microplastics and chemicals. We're at a point where the delivery system is more dangerous than what it's delivering. The bottle is poisoning the water. Every time you drink from plastic, you're ingesting particles that will never leave your body. They'll be in your bloodstream, your organs, your tissues, until the day you die and probably long after. These aren't scare tactics, this is what the research shows. And PFAS, those forever chemicals I keep mentioning, they're in our water supply, yes, but plastic bottles make it worse. They can leach from packaging materials, they don't break down. They're linked to kidney cancer, testicular cancer, thyroid disease, pregnancy complications, immune suppression. Drinking contaminated water daily is like taking out a loan against your future health. But here's the thing. There are actually good options, brands that have earned their reputation through testing, transparency, and responsible sourcing. Water that comes in glass or aluminum instead of plastic, companies that publish their test results instead of hiding behind marketing claims. These are the 10 that actually deserve your money. The French mineral water that's been around since 1863, naturally carbonated from the source in Verger, France. It comes in glass bottles primarily, which means zero plastic contamination. The mineral content is consistent, the testing is rigorous, and independent labs confirm what they claim. That signature green bottle isn't just branding, it's protection. Glass doesn't leach, glass doesn't shed microplastics. You're drinking what came out of the ground. Nothing more, nothing less. Italian excellence from the Alps of Lombardy. This water filters through rocks for 30 years before it reaches the source. That natural filtration gives it a mineral profile that's both distinct and beneficial. High in magnesium, Balanced calcium content, naturally carbonated. Available in glass bottles, which is how you should buy it. San Pellegrino publishes their mineral analysis openly. They're transparent about sourcing, protective of their aquifer, and consistent in quality. American Spring Water, from the Wachita Mountains in Arkansas, family-owned since 1871. Rigorous testing shows zero PFAS contamination and zero microplastics. They bottle at the source in glass. The mineral content is naturally balanced, Nothing added, nothing enhanced. And they're completely transparent about their testing. You can access their quality reports. That's confidence in your product, not fear of scrutiny. German volcanic mineral water that puts most brands to shame. Naturally carbonated, exceptionally high in calcium and magnesium, 348 milligrams of calcium per liter, more than a glass of milk. The water filters through layers of volcanic rock, picking up minerals naturally over decades. Germany has some of the strictest water quality standards in the world, and Jaroslinar exceeds them. Glass bottles, transparent testing, mineral content that's actually beneficial. Mexican mineral water from Monterey that's achieved cult status, and it's deserved. Naturally carbonated with a mineral profile that gives it a distinct, slightly salty finish. The key is buying it in glass bottles. Topo Chico has been bottled since 1895, and the source has remained protected and consistent. Independent testing shows clean results, zero contamination issues, mineral content that matches their claims. Historic New York spring water from Saratoga Springs, bottled since 1872. Local sourcing, minimal transportation, glass bottles, transparent testing. 
The spring is naturally carbonated, protected, and tested regularly for contaminants. Clean results across the board. No PFAS, no microplastics, no surprises. And because it's bottled relatively close to major East Coast markets, the carbon footprint is lower than importing European brands. French mineral water from the Loire Valley with light carbonation and a balanced mineral profile. Less aggressively carbonated than Perrier, making it approachable for people who find heavily sparkling water too intense. Glass bottles preserve the purity from source to consumption. Baudois has been bottled since 1778, over two centuries of consistent quality. The French take their mineral water seriously with strict regulations and regular testing. Tuscan spring water that's flown from the same source in the hills of Tuscany since 1564. Still spring water, not sparkling, with a remarkably smooth taste profile. Low mineral content makes it perfect for drinking with food or on its own. Owned by San Pellegrino's parent company, which means it adheres to the same strict quality standards. Glass bottles available, testing transparent, sourcing protected. San Pellegrino's naturally flavored sparkling water in aluminum cans. No plastic, no glass to break, 100% recyclable, and aluminum doesn't impart any taste or leach any chemicals. The flavors are derived from natural fruit essences, no added sugars, no artificial sweeteners, no calories. Just sparkling mineral water with subtle flavor. Because it's in cans, there's zero microplastic contamination. Austrian Alpine spring water in aluminum cans. And this is the future of bottled water. Zero PFAS, zero microplastics, 100% recyclable packaging, completely transparent sourcing and testing. They publish their water quality reports openly on their website. The aluminum can means no plastic leaching, no microplastic shedding, and infinitely recyclable material. The water comes from a protected spring in the Austrian Alps, naturally filtered through rock, but here's what really sets Liquid Death apart. Their entire brand is built on calling out the bottled water industry's nonsense. The punk rock aesthetic, the aggressive marketing, it's all designed to wake people up to how absurd plastic water bottles are. They're not just selling clean water, they're selling a rejection of plastic waste and corporate deception. What separates these 10 from the toxic 30? Packaging that doesn't poison the product. Sources that are protected and monitored. Testing that's transparent and verifiable. Companies that publish data instead of hiding behind marketing claims. These brands cost more because purity costs more. Glass production, aluminum cans, protected springs, rigorous testing. None of that is cheap, but you're paying for what actually matters. Listen, I'm not telling you to never drink bottled water again. Sometimes you need it. But here's what you can do starting today. Switch to glass or aluminum brands. The container matters more than you think. Invest in a quality reusable bottle and a home water filter. A good filter removes most contaminants for pennies per gallon. If you're stuck buying plastic bottles, choose brands with transparent testing. Better yet, avoid plastic entirely. Check your municipal water quality reports. They're public. Most tap water in America is cleaner than bottled water. If you're worried about your tap water, filter it. A quality filter costs less than a month of bottled water and lasts for years. We've been convinced that bottled water is safer than tap water through decades of marketing by companies that profit from that fear. The plastic bottle industry has built a billion-dollar business on making you doubt your tap water while selling you tap water in toxic packaging. You deserve to know what you're drinking. You deserve water that's actually clean, not just marketed as clean. The information is out there. The testing data exists. The safer alternatives are available. What you do with this information is up to you. But you can't say nobody told you. Your body is 60% water. Make sure what you're putting in it isn't 100% plastic.